my name is Tim Cordy and I am the father of John Cordy. No, Tim. I taught him to play guitar for about three weeks, <laughs> about 25 years ago. Get to the video, what's it about? What? What's the video about? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> chords. Oh, the video is about chords. So John Cordy will be talking to you about chords. Cheers, Dad. All right. Okay, so as Dad told you, on Fridays I like to take a look at a chord or something like that and, you know, talk about harmony or something to do with the guitar that hopefully will be useful to one or two people. And so early in the week I did this. And someone asked me what that chord was that I was playing, so I wanted to talk about that. Uh, with the progression I think went... Something like in the intro, and then... But the basic idea is that we're in the key of E major, or A Lydian. And what I'm playing is this open A string, and then we're on the ninth fret playing a B, so that's the nine of the chord. Then we're playing this, which is an F sharp, which is the six of the chord. And we're gonna have an open B and E, so that's again the 9 and then the 5th, so and what we're going to do is just slide the little 5th arrangement in the middle up, so then we'll be using the C sharp here, which is the 3rd of the chord and a G sharp, which would be a major 7, so something like that and maybe you hit the the open strings whenever you fancy. That's kind of my go-to thing. Just a really pretty little arrangement, I think. You could arpeggiate this stuff. And I think that's got a really pretty sound as well, if you don't mind me saying. Anyway, so uh, another thing to try out, I'll just have this out for you as well, is to... I think that has a really, really pretty sound. Um, certainly has its kind of roots in maybe kind of the 90s and 2000s kind of new metal kind of rocky stuff. Um, just a really pretty sound. But as I say, we're in E major and you're on kind of chord four. But you could also make that chord six or chord one. Um, it pairs really nicely with these other chords which are also put in the tab on Patreon if you want and you also get the back and track at the start of this tune. But you're essentially playing like a B major but leaving the B and E to ring out. And I think that has a really pretty sound. I think I discovered this fairly early on as a kid, but you're moving these around like you would normal bar chords, so in E major you'd have an E, an A, and a B, and you just keep these ringing out as pedals, you can get an F sharp minor. So that's all I wanted to show you today, just really simple and you could also um, pair that with higher notes. Just experiment with it, I think the sound of these open strings um, is what makes E major one of the most satisfying keys to play in on guitar. And now here will be a song that I wrote a while ago, quite a long time ago, I put it in the Vertex video if you remember, but specifically using this chord. Um, but yeah, 
check that out. Feel free to like and subscribe if this was at all useful for you. Um, hopefully that's vaguely interesting and a, a really nice chord to just drop in in the key of E major instead of chord a normal A major. So if you're playing Teenage Dirtbag for instance, I, I drop this in all the time. So, catch you in another video soon. The tabs for that stuff will be up on Patreon and the backing track from the intro too. Cheers! You say we don't need money you say things fall apart anyway Now you say he had a nice car I redefine the girl you heard If you say I promised it You won't